Give us a sense, first of all, of what can happen in the frontier markets to encourage private uh, partnerships. So this is not only the World Bank, but actually getting investors such as these guys to put money into projects that you believe are worthwhile. A number of things. Uh, first of all, uh, multilateral agencies and public sector works with governments to create the right environment to support uh, the developments in frontier markets. Second is to be the example, to have skin in the game. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we uh, at, the, at the World Bank have a track record of 70 years of investing in these markets. The third uh, is what we do at World Bank Treasury, which is issue uh, in some frontier cur uh, currencies. So we, we, we have a debt outstanding of about $200 billion. Uh, we issue about 50 to $60 billion every year. Uh, we've issued in 60 currencies, 22 currencies every year. Most of them are emerging market and frontier yeah. currencies. So being the example. The third uh, is to make sure uh, that we provide products that are useful uh, for investors uh, and leveraging the capital markets more broadly yeah. to de-risk projects, to de-risk countries, so whether guarantees, uh, whether uh, having a syndication and yeah. having them participate in a transaction uh, is also something that we do. And what are investors asking? I mean, the, the risk is so much bigger in these frontier markets, a lot of times because of politics or other things. What kind of, I don't know whether they ask about returns or longevity of projects. And again, how do you sell, how do you choose whether to invest or build a road in this country and not the other one? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, first of all, I think that uh, every investor wants to make sure uh, that they make the money uh, that they were determined to make. Uh, and so, what they want to make sure is that they're protected against any risks that uh, they, they're, not, they're not paying for. Uh, and so whether it's the countries themselves, whether it's um, uh, the international community or multilateral agencies like us, providing support in respect of that environment is important. Whether it's a regulatory framework, the legal framework, whether it's, uh, as I said, putting skin in the game to demonstrate that these environments are not as risky. And we have different tools that enable us to do that. Uh, we have um, uh, the Multilateral Investment Guarantee Agency that protects against political risk. Uh, we have our private sector, um, the International Finance Corporation, that invests in yeah. partnership with private sector. And we've got the World Bank, IBRD and IDA, that work with countries to make sure that the operating environment is important. The other thing is, of course, that technical assistance, designing this project such that, uh, because the designs of these projects are sometimes extremely important to the success uh, of those projects.